Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Shall we start a vlog when I'm having a really stressful, unlucky day? Why not? It makes sense. I'm literally setting myself up for a disaster. <laughs> But I had it in my head that I wanted to start packing today and I said that I would do a pack with me and I wanted to just make it like vloggy fun, you know, like vlog style. But let me tell you what I've experienced today so far and it's like midday, okay? Yesterday was Friday the 13th, so that should have been the unlucky day. I'm really concerned that it's rolled into the 14th for me. But um, just to list... Uh, I just had a shower and I got out and I didn't realise I would literally was flooding the bathroom. How? I have no idea. So then I just wasted another 20 minutes like squeegeeing my whole bathroom because literally it was like a wet room. And then, oh, best part of the day, I locked myself out this morning. I got up really early. Um, one good thing's, well, let's, let's not jinx it, but I've sold my car and it's getting picked up today. It's getting picked up today. I'm not even going to jinx it. It's getting picked up today. And I got up really early because basically I've got personal plates. And I needed to take the plates off. And I need to go down there now and stick on the old ones. And when I went down there, I locked myself out. So I thought, I'll go get my nails done to kill time whilst Cass was out. Because he had, then he had to come back and open the door for me. And I had French tip. Really lovely, beautiful. Then when I got in the house, I needed to clean the plates because they had like sticky stuff on from where I had stuck the plates together. I used this like stuff my uncle gave me once to get off tape from a mirror. When we moved, we just wrapped them on bubble wrap and I had so much tape on the mirror, but it got it off. It's purple and you can barely see, but you can see compared to here. It's turned my brand new, gelled, beautiful, stunning holiday manicure purple <laughs> honestly what the, like that there's more i'm sure there's more i just keep thinking like is today over yet is is it over <laughs> it's just it's literally just started but anyway hi hope you're all good we are gonna pack today nothing else is gonna go wrong like i said it's a bit of a but it's not sad I wanted to sell my car, I needed to sell my car, we need a bigger one. Well, no we don't. My car is huge, I'll put a picture on the screen, I've got a Jeep Wrangler. It was like my dream car for so many years. I literally have Snapchat memories come up. I love Snapchat memories by the way, how good is Snapchat memories? I don't even use Snapchat anymore, but Snapchat memories just, I'm just literally brushing over the same pen over and over again. But I had a Snapchat memory card from like nine years ago and I took a photo of a Jeep in a car park and was like, my future car. It was just the car I just wanted so bad in my car. I love it. But it's a three door, not smart. <laughs> if you're gonna have kids. Well, I didn't, I don't, I don't know. When I, obviously I wasn't pregnant when I bought the car. I've had the car for just over a year and a half. And I love it. It's not practical at all. It's not a really smooth ride. I had a Range Rover before. This was like my second dream car. My first dream car was a Range Rover. And then, because a lot of people talked me out of a Jeep, first of all. But anyway, it sold nonetheless. And the guy's actually picking it up very soon. So I'm going to have to run down and put the plates on. But it's a sad day because it's my baby. I have reserved my new one, which I'm picking up next week. And yeah, back to five doors. <laughs> I can't believe I literally had a Range Rover, which would have been perfect for a baby. But, you know, I probably would have got bored of it anyway and got a new car. I'm going to go say goodbye to my car. If it's not raining, I'll take you along. We'll have one more little look at her. <sighs> but no, this was causing me stress. I hate the stress that's come with cars. I just, I think cars are really stressful. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I'm a hormonal. But anyway, I'm going to go outside with wet hair, so I'm asking to get a cold. And then I'm going to sort myself out, and we're going to start packing today. That is the main part of this video. I've literally waffled for like five minutes about nothing. But anyways, let's go. Say goodbye. So I never named her. Let's call her Jenny the Jeep. And here she is. Let me quickly film her while she's got no plates on. Oh, I'm going to miss her. She is so gorge. The leather seats are so beautiful been a good time it really has but it's time to become a mom <laughs> i felt like 
I was excited for this job and now I'm just dreading it. I actually hate packing. There's nothing I hate more than unpacking though. So I should just enjoy this. I think it's the madness before it becomes enjoyable. As in, I've got everything kind of thrown around me at the moment. And I can't really see the light. But I've got my case. I will try and mention everything I've got. So this case, you might have seen. I put it on my story when I first got it and on TikTok. But this is like the Ramoa dupe. These are from, I think I got mine from eBay, but I'm pretty sure you can get it from Amazon. So I'll link them if I can find them. But Ramoa cases are like a thousand plus. These were like just short of 200 for a big one and the cabin size. So I'm going to be packing both and I'm also going to be taking another little bag as well i haven't decided what but we'll get to that a lot of the time i do write lists and i'm a pen to paper gal however because i'm pregnant i feel like i've had to put a little bit more thought into things and again if you're from my instagram you might have seen my endless random lists and i'll put them on the screen if anyone wants to screenshot them or just have them here for reference and yeah, I've just started doing a lot of lists on my notes on my phone. But the reason I've got this is because I think I might write stuff down as I put it in the case. Yeah, I've got a lot of the clothes that I tried on the other day. If you watched my last video, I'll link it down below. But I did a little bit of shopping for this trip because obviously my body's very different to normal. Yeah, this is kind of going to be like a trial run for... Obviously, it's completely different, but packing my hospital bag. And I definitely want to do a video like that. So this will give the vibe of that video i'm hoping one of the main things that goes well for this packing first time situation is all the bags that i've got to make life easier i just want to be an organized queen i think it's just better for my mind body and soul and because it's a week holiday i could essentially like live out of my case if everything's in properly and i can see it which is why these are so good i got a couple of the little clear plastic pouches from amazon and these are going to be amazing when it comes to my vitamins as well because i can just put them in line them all up and whether they need to go in my hand luggage or my main case well to be fair anything that's see-through is just easy to grab and go you know but these are my prenatal vitamins which are going to be going straight in i take these every single day so it's important that they stay by me and these are by ritual and i want to say a big thank you to ritual for sponsoring this video so i've been taking the ritual prenatal multivitamins since i fell pregnant but you can actually take these around three months before and they have a big range of other vitamins teens women men's over 50s there's a really big range so if you're not pregnant there is other vitamins for you but i just love this brand and also it smells so good in my time i've tested out quite a lot of vitamins and these are definitely my favorite and that's why i was so excited to be collabing with them and telling you guys how you can get 30 percent off if you want to try them out in these in particular there's 12 essential nutrients and I get a new pack monthly. It's like a little subscription service and there's literally no strings attached. It's super easy. Just set it up, select the vitamins that you want. So like I said, I know this won't be relatable for many people if you're not pregnant, but in particular, I do want to quickly touch on something. If you are pregnant and you can't find the right prenatal vitamins for you, something that I love about these, and I want to get this right so I have actually got it up on my phone, is that it has a delayed release, which basically means you know when you take a tablet or a vitamin and you get that initial icky taste and i know obviously with a lot of pregnant women you have morning sickness and the taste of some things just is disgusting for my first trimester i fancied nothing food just kind of repulsed me so the way it works is it's not actually like released again i don't want to call like scientific but it won't just like release too early on where you get that horrible taste and then it will like trigger sickness or anything it's gonna do its thing lower down into your stomach and 
you're gonna forget you've took it basically. Their vitamins are vegan friendly, gluten free, allergen free and contain no added sugar as well. And the reason I felt like it was a really good time to be working with Ritual is because obviously it's January, new year, new health goals and it's really important that we put the insides of our bodies first as well as the outside. So it's all well and good going to the gym and making yourself look 10 out of 10 but you need to also think about what's going on inside. So. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description and there is an option for everybody. Get 30% off, I have a discount code. I will leave everything on the screen and down below, but a big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring this video. I got this travel bag set from Amazon and it's a pack of like, like six pieces. I'm not gonna lie, I thought the sections would be a bit bigger, but it's fine. I'm gonna make it work and I'm already thinking like I can see bikinis going in this. I really like that, again, like these little bags I said, clear. I like the idea of being able to see and also you've got the little straps. So everything's gonna be secure and tight and then I like it when everything's really compressed so you can fit as much as possible, you know? You're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. I am exhausted. I'm so hot as well. Let me bring you up to speed. So I've done nearly all the bags. I've got in the smaller bags underwear, bikinis, shirts, like beach shirts and trousers. And then the biggest zippy bag is my day dresses. And that is the biggest bag they've got. I'm thinking if I'd have got two sets of these, it would have been perfect because it does actually fill out like half the case really nicely, as you probably would have seen. The ones I'm left with at the moment are ones that are just like this. But that's probably... Just for reference, the size of like a pair of shoes. And then another mini one. So they're all the big ones done. And then down the sides of the bags, I've slotted some sandals and some hats. But I always have a big one of these Ikea bags under my bed with my, well, I, I kind of like switch it out. So at the moment, it's all my summer bits because obviously it's cold and it's the winter. And then I will kind of rotate, not really like bikinis and stuff, because obviously in the UK we don't use them that much. But anything summery like shirts, dresses, shorts, I will sort them out with my winter stuff in my wardrobe. And I'll put away like knit jumpers and then like they go under my bed. So I kind of alternate for the season of the fashion. Right? Does that make, did that make sense? I can't believe out of breath I am. But, made good headway. I'm very impressed with how neat it's looking. I feel like this is gonna be very straightforward to find things. Actually, before I have a break, I'm gonna show you some of the randoms that I just chucked in my basket from Amazon. And some things that just might remind you that you need to get. So, starting off strong, I got some mozzie spray. And I also got some mosquito repellent uh, bracelets as well. I'm going to be covering myself in these two. Obviously some suntan cream. I've got some little decantable bottles, which to be honest, I do have minis in pretty much everything. That's why I only got two because I feel like I might need them, but I don't actually know yet. And then little packs of wipes for the plane. I've got anti-back. I actually thought I ordered a mini anti-back and I've got this massive one, which Kelsey told me is literally what they have in the hospitals because she's a nurse. And I was like, okay, I can't cut that round. So I've got a mini one, compression socks, pregnant. Well, even if you're not, if you're doing long haul, they say you should wear compression socks. And then I got this travel pillow, just in case. I have a few different options for pillows. I just don't want to be uncomfortable. So I'm going to try everything. As in, I've got one that goes around your neck that I've always had that's memory foam. Might even take one of my own pillows from my bed. And then I got some 
Evian water spray to cool me down in case I'm having a hot flush, which will be good for the plane. And are you allowed to take aerosol on the plane? And then obviously the little bags. That is what I got from Amazon. It's just so quick and easy to get that kind of stuff. Obviously delivered from Amazon. I need a little break, we'll come back. Just asking for a friend, how does packing turn into making cakes? <laughs> well, the baby wants, the baby gets. Honestly, who's the baby right now? Probably me. I went for a phase in lockdown of being so obsessed with like kids cakes and when i went to tesco the other day i just couldn't resist the line is so bad but i'm gonna make some cakes and i thought i would show you because as if i was ever just gonna keep this a pack with me <laughs> i was obviously gonna make it into like a vlog wasn't i i did sell my smeg cake mixer when i moved now i don't have a whisk so the whisk is me. I am the whisk. On the highway, it's our way. Route 66 and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. Hi guys, happy Blue Monday. Today is supposed to be the most depressing day of the year. Because it's the third Monday of January. And I think it's oh, when yeah. reality sets in that like January blues and stuff like that. But I actually feel great today because I'm picking up my new car. Here's my outfit, let me stand up on my nans. Got a footstool here to show you. Got on Uggs, these socks which Cass's mum got me for Christmas in my stocking. I think they're from Primark. They're really cute because they look like leg warmers. Jacquemus, scarf, bomber, this Sandro bag. Sandro, Sandro, got it from Vista. And yeah, we are going to get my new car. Beep, beep, nans coming because obviously I can't get there <laughs> without her. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. Woo! You've got to drive slow to... Um... So you can follow me? Yes, yeah, I don't know where it is. <laughs> also, if you follow me on my home account, you would have seen I got a cream fluffy poof. Oh, hi. Sorry, it's because we're touching your stuff. Oh, it's because you think I'm getting you a treat out. Should I give her a treat now, Nan? You've got a small one. Okay. But anyway, yeah, Nan um, got the grey ones for Dolly's treats. You're the bougiest rabbit in the world. Huh? Okay, okay, relax. You're my firstborn, did you know that? You'll have a sister soon. Come on then. Relax. Bye then. With you. Can you actually believe at this point that I'm still packing? It's late. It's quarter past eight. We go in the morning. I think I'm done. I'm just pondering now. And I just keep walking past things. I'm like, do I need that? Like, we're literally going for a week. That's like we're going for a month. My case is heaving. It looks pretty heavy, but we've got like 30 kg luggage each, which is plenty for a week. But I'm still looking at my case like, hmm. I just thought it might get a bit boring if I keep time lapsing. Also, anything to get out of packing. I literally had a squeezing session in the mirror with my skin. Don't recommend the day before you go on holiday, but it's done now, you know? Here's how the case is looking. So that side is completely done up. That is the side you pretty much saw me do yesterday. Bikinis, underwear, day dresses, stuff like that. And then shoes as well. This side now is... Some evening dresses. I ran out of them bags, so I had to use the plastic bags. Um, hat, bag, another bag. Hair tools, sun creams, makeup, makeup. And then this big mirror. This mirror is amazing. Look at this. I think I've talked about this like a million times. But I just think that'll be really good for when we're away. Because I can just never find somewhere good to do my makeup. So take one for the team, taking a heavy mirror. A week doing nothing. I have to get into a book. And then you can come in. And then I've also got this book. But the reason I've packed two for a week, there's not a chance in hell I'll finish these. But this one's kind of educational about obviously birth, hypnobirthing, stuff like that. I'm thinking if I get a little bit more of this, then I've got a 
story, you know, to, to make me lose myself in. Cass is just packing in the other room. We've decided we're just going to pack separately. He wants to play his music. I want tranquility. So that's just how it's going. And then this is how my hand luggage is going. We're not really there yet, but um, we're getting there. So I've got my pregnancy notes with my fit to fly in, hand sanitizer, moisturizer, oils, chewing gum, all that, extra neck pillows, compression socks, stuff like that. Flip flops in case my feet expand, my book, and then I'm gonna put in like my laptop, my iPad, headphones i'm going very overboard i can't lie i'm on to my final step of the night before i literally wrap this up and i call this a day as in the packing situation hack well it's not really a hack but try and do as much as you can the night before it's a bit like when people say like prep for the gym the next morning we're not even going that early but i just want to straighten my hair and then i use one of the non-kink hair bands and then my hair's done I'll put on a little bit of my day glow, which will just give me a little bit of a tinted tan in the morning. That one's super lightweight, so it won't like clog my skin up for holiday. And then just put some moisturizer on and maybe like brush my brows in the morning, then I'm good to go. Everything's on charge that needs to be, so I can just pack them all last minute. And then that is it. I'm so excited. This has been a little bit of a really, well, it's been a very random video, hasn't it? I'm so happy with my new car. I didn't really film much there today, but like I said, it's a bit hard when you're like signing documents and it's essentially just like a bit of an office when you're in there. But I love it and it's exciting knowing that when we get home, we can put the car seat in and start prepping properly. For the baby to arrive but yeah i'm gonna carry on i'm gonna try to make myself look a bit cuter i feel so gross maybe blue mondays just hit me i've actually had a really nice blue monday anyways that is it from me i hope that you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one also if you want to be in real time whilst i'm away don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok as well because obviously youtube's the one annoyingly which takes a little bit longer to put together and upload so it's always a little bit delayed, but it's also the longer version. So I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to click down below if you want to check out Ritual. Thank you guys for sponsoring.